Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a practical and useful C# -sharp tutorial for you. We'll be learning how to create a text box control that accepts only letters and spaces. This can be handy for various applications where you want to restrict user input to text only. So, let's dive right into it. The code snippet we'll be using for this is quite straightforward. We'll handle the key press event of the text box to validate and control the input. This code utilizes regular expressions to check whether the entered character is a letter, lowercase or uppercase, or a space. If it matches, we allow the input. If not, we deny it by setting e.handled to true, preventing the character from being added to the text box. Now, let's break down the regular expression at azaz e backslash s backslash b that we're using in this code. It's crucial to understand how this expression works. Caret, this symbol at the beginning of the regular expression means that we are checking the character at the start of the input string. azaz e, this part specifies that we are allowing lowercase and uppercase letters from a to z and a to z. Backslash s, here, we're allowing spaces. Backslash b, the backslash b is a word boundary anchor. It ensures that the input must be a complete word, not just a part of a word. It helps prevent invalid inputs from being accepted. Now, let me show you a quick demo. As you can see, when I type characters other than letters or spaces, they don't appear in the text box. But when I type letters or spaces, they are accepted. The text box that accepts only letters and spaces can be useful in various scenarios. It's great for name fields, search bars, or any input field where you need to ensure the input is purely textual. And there you have it. You've learned how to create a text box in C-sharp that only accepts letters and spaces. Feel free to implement this in your own projects to enhance user input validation.